our people have asked for a trip like this for many years. Indigenous delegates from Canada will meet with Pope Francis this week at the Vatican. The delegation will push for a papal apology over the Catholic Church's role in running residential schools. The public view in Canada reaffirms that a papal apology is absolutely required to advance the healing and the moving forward. The hope for many is that the Pope eventually apologizes on Canadian soil. It's one of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's 94 calls to action. The delegates are also expected to ask for financial support for survivors who attended residential schools, and they want the church to release all records relating to those students. Dene National Chief Gerald Antoine is leading the AFN delegation to Rome. As a residential school survivor, the trip is also a personal one. I spoke to him about what he hopes the meetings will accomplish. And Chief Gerald Antoine joins us now. Nice to see you, Chief. Yes, it's good to uh, good to hear you, and also good to know that our people are out there listening, uh, including the, the Canadians. Yeah, and 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 listening at at an important moment as you uh, get ready to head to the Vatican. What what are your expectations? What are your hopes for this meeting, Chief? My uh, my uh, I guess my expectation is that uh, I work in a good way. Uh, leading the delegation. These uh, delegations are very uh, special people. The First Nation delegation is comprised of uh, First Nation representatives from every region in Canada. It also includes residential school survivors. It includes family members of survivors, leaders, elders, youth, and also spiritual advisors from several different nations. And so as First Nation people and our, our culture and spirituality are very fundamental to our identity and our relationships with each other as well as with Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. And so our, our mission is to share the messages of our people uh, who have gone through the Indian residential school. And not only that, but other things, uh, forms of genocide and also the assimilation processes that okay. we've endured today. And my hope is that the head of the Catholic Church apologize, all the churches in Canada have apologized and the Roman Catholic Church are, is the only one that hasn't apologize and what, what what would that mean for you what would that mean for you and and for the people you are going over to represent well if you look at what's going on with ukraine you know they're going through the same situation uh but it, it means a lot uh there's a wrong done and it, it has to be apologize for so it, it that is one of the steps It's not the only step but it's it is a start of putting closure not only that but uh, the possibility of uh, working out the things that needs to be worked out to right the wrong yeah you you yourself chief uh, as well as being a, a Dene national chief and that, that's part of the reason you're going you are also a survivor a residential school survivor um, I don't know what you want to tell me about that experience and, and how it how it changed you. I can relate to all the survivors that have gone through these things. Uh, it uh, first, it has really impacted our families. Uh, you know, we were children at one time when we got abducted and we got uh, forcefully moved to another institution. We were prevented of uh, being ourselves. Uh, we were prevented from being at home. We were prevented from our teachings uh, of our grandparents. We were also um, taken away from the multi-dimensional way of our way of life, uh, also the educational processes. And uh, so, these are the hills that 
that we all climbed. Uh, this is also the hills that I've climbed. Today, we're at the bottom of a big hill and where we look around, we see each one of us here, including the church, also the, the Canadian state. Uh, we're all here at the bottom of this big hill that we need to look at how we need to climb. And so, uh, you know, this is uh, a challenge. Uh, I see that very much hope in it. Um, and for us, our people, we've been telling the truth to date and we're gonna continue telling the truth. This isn't the first time that um, Indigenous leaders in Canada have met with uh, a pope. Um, I talked to Phil Fontaine the last time a delegation went over to Rome. And I wonder what you think it, it will be different this time or, or why it matters for it to happen differently this time. Uh, since then, there's been some changes. There's some development. There's uh, openness. Uh, also, the uncovering of the unmarked graves. Yeah. Our people have been saying these things all along. We've been telling the truth. And uh, today we have actual evidence, physical evidence that uh, our truth is the truth. And so the, that's uh, the difference. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the this Roman Catholic Church is the only church that hasn't apologize today and so uh, i see that they need to do that and so we're also sharing that message uh, to the pope francis yeah L let me end on this chief I I you're going over with this hope that there is an apology or, or even that the pope come to canada and, and make that apology official I is it hard to go to will it be hard for you and others to go to the Vatican, to go to the seat of the Catholic Church, a church that failed so many uh, indigenous people. Will it be difficult to be in that space, do you think, and and be near the Pope, knowing what, what you've experienced and what others have experienced? The Pope is uh, also a human being. Uh, we are also human being. And uh, the directive of the Pope office uh, had directed the doctrine of discovery. And in that, uh, in these uh, directives, they looked at us as non-human uh, and that uh, this is an empty land and that they, you, they're given the directions to do what uh, they needed to do. And uh, history provides all these evidence that this is how it unfolds. Um, that was wrong. And uh, we cannot do anything about it because it, it did happen. However, yeah. we need to uh, tell the truth. Uh, we need to share this dark truth. We're, uh, our intention is not to create fear or a sense of panic, just mainly and simply to share the truth and uh, also to get them to recognize and acknowledge us as the original nation of families and that we have a very special relationship uh, and the priority is to do with the land and the uh, relationships is with ourselves so that way we could be able to harmonize uh, with the natural world and also have a special relationship with other people and yeah. this is what our people have been sharing, and this is what they've been in insisting, and this is what we need, and we need to have that understanding as we move forward. Chief, I hope I hope the trip goes well. Lots of people will be watching and, and thinking of you and, and the people going over there, so I thank you very much for your time. Yes, uh, it is all about them. It is for them, and uh, we'll do our best to be able to share their message to the Holy Father. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. You're welcome.